Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Dr. Sayyid Kaswar Ali Shah, Department of Zoology, Cholistan University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Bahawalpur. Today we discuss evidences of evolution from molecular biology. Life is the sum of biochemical activities. So evolution is also a biochemical phenomena. In biological term, if we define the life, life is sum of metabolic activities or biochemical activities. So is the evolution. Important biochemical activities includes protoplasm chemistry. The protoplasm chemistry is similar in bacteria, plants and animals. Basic constituents are protein, lipids, carbohydrates and water with a little degree of variation in composition according to need of the different form. If we compare the protoplasm of the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell, they have almost similar composition. They have the most important is the after the water, the proteins, the carbohydrates, the lipids, the nucleic acid, RNA, DNA are various type of metabolites. They occur almost in similar type of composition with little difference. So the major constituents are same both in prokaryotic cell as well as in eukaryotic cell. So if we see the chromosome chemistry, the chromosomes they consist of nucleic acid and proteins. The nucleic acid may be DNA, RNA and proteins. Important proteins in chromosome are the histones. So uniformity in structure and composition indicate common origin. So they have similar type of the chromosome chemistry. So which indicate their common origin. So then is enzyme homology. So a large number of plant and animal obtained identical enzymes. For example, amylase, trypsins are found in members of animal kingdom from sponges to the mammals. Same respiratory enzyme and common mechanism of respiration suggest their common ancestry. So the enzymes they are also similar. Even in plants and animals, many respiratory enzyme, metabolic enzymes, they are same and they are doing same job in all type of organisms. There is also hormonal similarity. For example, thyroid hormone is similar in all vertebrates. Frogs deficiency of thyroid hormone can be corrected by feeding them mammalian thyroid tissue. So if the frogs they have deficiency of thyroid hormones, particularly during the development, they need this hormone for their developmental process. If they are fed the mammalian tissue, mammalian thyroid hormone, so that works in the frog, indicating their common ancestry. The, similarly, melanophore expanding hormone concerned with expanding dark skin pigmentation. Although it is vestigial in mammals, but can expand skin pigmentation in amphibian on grafting. So if it is grafted into the amphibian from the mammal, so it can do its job. Presence of same type of hormone can only be explained on the basis of descent ancestral relationship. So it means the vertebrates, they have incest, ancestor descendant relationships that's why their hormones they are working in each other if we compare the serology the comparative serology also give us indication about the common ancestry inoculation of foreign proteins antigen into the body of an organism produces antibodies presence of antigen antibody is tested by precipitation test as antigen antibody they react they form coagulation so precipitation is formed so this test for the testing the antigen is called precipitation test. The test is used to determine the relationship of organisms. For example, relationship of whale with the mammal. Because of aquatic mode of life, whale is more much related to the fish. However, comparative serology of the whale with other mammal indicate their serum proteins are more like that of even to hoof mammal artiodactyla, suggesting their common ancestry. So now the whale has aquatic mode of life, its body shape, its mode of living, its swimming pattern that's more related to the fish, but its serology indicate more relationship with the mammals, with artiodactyla. So it means they may share some common ancestor and then they diverge from each other due to their mode of life. Same serological tests are performed for various groups of primates. 
like man, anthropoid ape, old world monkey, new world monkey, and demure. Serum protein of chimpanzee are more similar to man than serum protein of apes, gorilla, and baboon, suggesting chimpanzee close relative of man than other primates. So these serum proteins they also indicate the ancestry. If they are more alike, they have more homology. They are more similar. So it means they share some common ancestor. Similar comparative serological tests reveal that cats, dogs, and bears are closely related. Another group, cows, sheep, goats, deer, and antelopes, they constitute another closely related group. So serum proteins can also indicate the common ancestry. So this is called blood relation. So due to these blood relation, these animals they are relative to each other, or they share the common ancestor. Serological test suggest close relationship among modern birds. Several hundred bird species give strong and immediate reaction with chicken antiserum. Although chicken has different mode of life, it cannot fly, while other birds they are flying birds, but they have close relationship so their serological test suggest close relationship of other birds with the chicken serological test indicate close relationship of bird to crocodile than to snake lizard lion so as birds are originated from the reptiles reptiles are considered as ancestors of the birds and inside the reptiles crocodile are more close relative of the birds as compared to the snake or lizard so it means the birds originated from some crocodile like reptilian ancestors similar serological test can be performed for crustacean insects and mollusks indicating evolutionary relationship see so crustacean insects belong to phylum arthropoda and mollusks so they also share some common serological tests it means arthropod and mollusks they are closely related invertebrate animals amino acid sequence so if we compare the sequences of amino acid in the proteins found in different animals the important protein is hemoglobin oxygen carrying compound found in the blood of the animals so amino acid sequence in beta and alpha chains of hemoglobin of different species revealed great similarities specific differences indicating evolutionary mutational changes occur during descent with modification so hemoglobin is a protein which has four chains two alpha chains two beta chains and you know there are 574 amino acid in the hemoglobin so there is close relationship of the sequence of amino acid in the hemoglobin which indicate the common ancestry similarly analysis of cytochrome enzymes or lactate dehydrogenase or coenzymes like nad nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or fad demonstrate common evolutionary relationship among the organisms so similar type of the proteins similar type of enzymes and similar sequences of amino acid in the enzymes in the proteins if the sequences are much more similar it means they are closely related and if there are differences it means they are remote relative of each other so now if we compare the excretory products the excretory product analysis also gives some indication about their ancestry analysis of excretory wastes ammonia urea and uric acid so three important nitrogenous waste occurs in the animal kingdom either the animals they excrete ammonia urea or uric acid according to their habitat so this ammonia urea and uric acid among various group of animal kingdom indicate evolutionary relationship the kind of excretory waste depend on the habitat of the organism which in turn depend on the presence of particular enzyme which are determined by the genes the habitat actually determine the for example if they have excessive supply of water 
the excretory product will be ammonia in case of moderate supply of water the animals they have excretory product in the form of urea and in case of acute shortage of water excretory product is uric acid so so is their metabolism for the synthesis of these excretory products so kind of excretory product depend on the habitat and in turn this depends on the presence or absence of particular enzymes and these enzymes are determined by genes according to one gene one enzyme hypothesis each gene direct the synthesis of an enzyme so if the gene is there that will synthesize the particular enzyme and that enzyme will regulate the particular mechanism different genes have been selected in the course of evolution so according to the habitat according to the need of the animal so they selected different genes which produce specific type of the enzymes uric acid is excreted as a waste product of metabolism of purines like adenine and guanine so vertebrate evolution occurred by successive loss of enzyme for step wise degradation of the uric acid so it depends on the genes which gene is present or which gene is lost according to the need of the organism according to the habitat of our organism so during evolutionary course so different genes different enzyme they play their role and this also indicate their common ancestry they are related to one another janedham he was a embryologist he observed development of chick embryo and made interesting observations so during early stages of development chick embryo secrete ammonia later it secrete urea and finally it start excreting uric acid so during this various stages of life during its development it has different type of and the enzymes which are active so early chick embryo has urease that catalyze the degradation of the uric acid while it disappear in the later stages of the development so early stages it has urease which catalyze the uric acid into ammonia or urea but at the development proceed this enzyme is lost so the chick can excrete uric acid similarly adult frog excrete urea while tadpole larva excrete ammonia so same is the case with the frog at the larval stage the tadpole excrete the ammonia but when it is adult so adult start excreting urea another evidence from molecular biology is the phosphogenes so phosphogenes are high energy phosphate compounds chiefly found in the muscle tissue in animals and play key role in muscle contraction so in muscles of the vertebrates so they occur as creatine phosphate while in invertebrate they occur as arginine phosphate so creatine phosphate in vertebrates are higher animal and as arginine phosphate in invertebrate lower animal echinoderm and hemichordate they have both creatine and arginine so echinoderms are at the top of the invertebrate phyla hemichordate are at the start of the chordates so echinoderms they were converted into hemichordates and then hemichordates give rise to the higher chordates so they have both type of these phosphogens that is they have creatine phosphate and arginine phosphate therefore echinoderms are considered as the ancestors of the higher chordates so phosphogens presence of phosphogen also indicate their relationship evolutionary clock which are also known as the molecular or gene clocks since the origin of the life changes occur in the molecules or the dna throughout the geological time chart so since the origin of the life the life originated in the form of the prokaryotic cell then it gradually converted into simple eukaryotes then multicellular eukaryotes invertebrates and then vertebrates and at the highest level are the mammals so these different animals they occur during different stages of geological time chart so evolutionary clock are used to determine the relatedness between the two species that is 
calculating similarities and differences between the species. So if they have more similarities, it means they are closely related. And if the differences are there, so it means they are different to each other or they are remote relatives. DNA amino acid sequences are mostly compared. Fewer the differences, lesser time took the species to split from each other. For example, chicken and gorilla have more differences between their DNA or amino acid sequences of their proteins than between gorilla and apis. So it means apis and gorilla, they are close relative and chicken is remote relative of gorilla or apis because they have more differences and gorilla and apis, they have more similarities. It means chicken and gorilla share common ancestor in the remote past. There is still some sort of similarity between the chicken and gorilla, which indicate their common ancestry, but maybe in the remote past. And gorilla and apis, they share recent common ancestor because the similarities in them, they are much more. So they are close relative, while chicken and gorilla, they are remote relative. So here we can see this genome size variation. This is a slide which I took from one of the research article published by the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences, PNAS. It is a very well-known journal. So here they give this evolutionary relationship between the organism. So these are the reptiles. So reptiles, they give rise to birds and also to the mammals. So ancestors of the mammals and the birds are the reptiles. So reptiles, these three major classes, sequimates, turtles and crocodiles. So crocodiles, they have more close relationship to the birds as compared to the turtles or sequimates. The turtles like the tortoises, or sequimates like the snakes, they are remote and the crocodiles they are much more related to the birds which indicate that some crocodilian like animal the reptilian give rise to the birds and these reptiles they also offshoot was converted into the mammals and the mammals the three major classes the marsupials they separated and then there are eutheria and eutheria, here we can see the primates and rodents, they are more closely related as compared to the bats or ungulates. So ungulates are more related to the bats, rodents are more related to the primates. So this evolutionary relationship is indicating their common ancestry. If the relationship is higher, they share the common ancestor. And if the relationship is low, differences are higher it means they are not so much related but still they share the common ancestor so all these animals although they belong to different groups but their common ancestor here was something common this a type of the organism is the common ancestor to all these organisms Either they are reptile or birds or various classes of the mammals. Thank you very much.